All right, how's it going, everyone? And it's been a minute since I've fired this game up. Bloody hell. I think the last time I fired this up was when I was doing me um, Grand Prix, me AI Vis, AI Grand Prix. I need to get reacquainted with this game for when UFC 5 eventually drops. Just check all my settings, make sure they're still the same. Legendary AI. I'm not an online player, never have been much of an online player really when it comes to games. I like to uh, do a lot of career modes in these games and that's what I'm kind of most looking forward to. When the UFC 5 drops, I was doing some more careers. And I don't think I've actually played as Madeleine, I think, since they've added them to the game. It's been, like I say, it's been a while since I've fired it up. Let's have a... Madalena versus Holland match since these two fought at the, the weekend. It was on the uh, Shevchenko and Grasso rematch. Uh, UFC Noche, the uh, celebrated Mexican independence. So let's give Madalena a try. I've not tried him yet. And actually relearn this game again because I feel like in the short time that I've, that I've been away from it, I fucking completely forgotten how to play it, I think. I can barely rem remember anything. I'm gonna have to get brushed up on this for for when the new game drops. So the next couple of next couple of videos on this is just gonna be me getting reacquainted with the game. I'll just stuff a takedown. I forgot. Is it both triggers? L2 and R2. Completely forgot. I enjoyed the fight between these two on the like I say on the Grasso and Shevchenko card. It was a uh, very competitive. Went to a decision. Uh, Madalena just eked him out on a decision. Although some people believe that Holland might have actually could have argued that it could have gone to Holland uh, based on his volume. But I think Madalena was landing the more damaging shots. Uh, I like Jack because he goes to the body a lot. He's a good body puncher. It's not very often you see that in MMA. Someone who goes to the body a lot with their punches goes body, head and head body. And Jack likes to throw that liver shot as well for any fights with the liver shot. Which I'm a big fan of. I love seeing that. My body punch here when they go to the liver. I think Jack's got the potential to be holding a belt one day, I think. I don't know how I could see this this lad becoming a champion down the line. I don't think he's broke into the top ten yet as far as the rankings go, but I don't know, I just feel like he's got he's got the potential to be wearing gold eventually. But he's like, I've yet to use him, like I say, so. Let's see if we can get a body shot finish. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. And Welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Perth, Australia, Jack Della Madalena! Hey, Dean, getting us underway. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. 
course, skip these cringe fucking emotes. I hope we're not going to get these in UFC 5, but I'm willing to bet the house on it that we will. If it's cringe, it's going to be in the fucking game. So let's get reacquainted with this now. It's been ages since I feel like I've played this. One thing I could never get the hang of in this game, and I did come to this game really late in its life cycle. I think I only picked it up like just under a year ago. I've got a second-hand copy off eBay. I always struggle with the head movements. I've not quite uh, like learnt the animations enough yet to know when like a hook is coming to like slip it or whatever. So my head movements in this is fucking dog shit. Try for that spin to win, spinning back fist. Oh, went for the front kick down the middle, but I got countered with that slip straight. Oh, I'm getting tagged a little bit. Oh, went for the front kick again. Oh, cut landers. Oh, he's gone for the guilt. He's going to go for the guillotine. He's got a standing guillotine attempt from Holland. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, left up, just missed over the top there. Oh, and the shoot wasn't expecting that either. Put me off guard with that. Oh, just missing with the overhand Holland there. Bit of a rusty start. I feel way, way rusty. I forgot so much. Right straight off the right low kick, gotta be careful with me out that spinning back kick to the head loads just when I think it's going low the AI will send it high body shot there from Holland oh there we go that side kick as well but when I think that's going to the body it's to the head Taking some shots there in the pocket. Can't be staying there like that and getting it with shots. Come 
Oh, nice slip from Holland there. Just slipped my left uppercut. the body try to fire up that switch step kick to the body at the same time that oh big overhand over the top oh getting tagged with shots trying to go into counter the, with the body there but he kept firing Oh, hard low kick. Oh, beautiful liver shot. Oh, nice check left up there as I stepped in. Hit him to the body there. Although I did get tagged with some shots as well, trying to trying to get in tight, going for the body. Oh, it was the low kick? Eh? Did I hit him with the body shot as well? I can't remember. Definitely hit him with that low kick. Front kick got caught. Oh, and another hard low kick. Fucking side kick. Oh, uppercut rocks him. Oh, beautiful body shots. Oh, spinning back fist counter though by Holland. Oh, hard kick to the liver. Another one. Relentless catch in the front kick. Oh, hard low kick again. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and a lovely body shot again. Oh, got checked there, though, with that left up. Oh, 
Oh, hard kick to the limit. Oh, and another hard body shot. Oh, he's trying to go for the liver kick here. Tends to counter with like a quick move there. It punishes that, that wind up on the switch step to, to, to the body there. Fucking input reading AI. Oh, caught with that uppercut though as I was going for that low kick. Oh, he's fatiguing that body, he's hurting. Oh, beautiful left up to the body there. Left hook up top to the head. And then that liver shot. Lovely. God, it took me a while later to sort of get back into the, into the swing of things. I'm still going to need a couple more play sessions to... To re familiarize myself with the game. Oh, there was a jab up top, jab up top to get the hands up, and then that liver shot underneath the elbow. Beautiful. So I'm still waiting on a on a beta code. I don't even know if I'll actually get one. But I keep checking my emails to see if they've uh, if they've sent one. I don't know if they've actually started dishing them out to people yet, but if I do end up getting one, I'll let you know. I don't think we can record any gameplay anyway. If you, if you have access to the beta, you're not allowed to record any gameplay, apparently. But uh, I'll let you know anyway if I, if I get a code. Well, thanks very much for watching, everyone. I'm going to leave it there. I'll see you in the next one.